Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will study femoral vein Doppler ultrasound. We got transverse and longitudinal images of common femoral vein. Here it is seen alongside the common femoral artery and the saphenofemoral junction in cross section. The common femoral vein is wider than the artery and it will be compressible when we apply pressure with the probe. And here is a longitudinal view of common femoral vein with color Doppler. The blood is flowing towards the heart. Spectral Doppler waveform of common femoral vein is variable. These variations are due to the cardiac cycle and the respiratory cycle. Normally we will see these type of waveforms. Here we see a thrombus in the common femoral vein. The vein will be non-compressible, which means when we apply pressure from the probe, it will not collapse. The diameter of the vein will also be increased. The lumen is filled with some material that is the thrombus. Here is a longitudinal view showing common femoral vein thrombosis with color Doppler. There is no flow in this area, but there is some flow over here. It is a partially occluded flow. In this image, there is complete occlusion due to thrombosis. Complete absence of blood flow is found here. Spectral Doppler waveform in case of thrombosis will have a flattened presentation. There is loss of normal respiratory phasicity and cardiac cycle pulsatility which is seen in the normal waveform of common femoral vein. Here is another image showing a flattened waveform which is due to venous obstruction caused by deep vein thrombosis. Chronic post-thrombotic changes have their own features. These are chronic cases of deep vein thrombosis. The intraluminal material becomes hyperechoic. The vein may have a decreased diameter and undergo an increase in wall thickness. The wall of the vein may also be irregular. In rare cases, calcifications with posterior acoustic shadowing may be found attached to the vessel wall and also you can see a decreased diameter of the vein. Synechia is a hyperechoic fibrous membrane that may be found in chronic post-thrombotic change. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.